All dogs in the world today are descendants of the gray wolf. Mitochondrial DNA testing worldwide points to just a handful of female wolves as the so-called Eves of the dog world. Scientific testing also shows that the dog was first domesticated in the East, not the West. And it was possibly here, at a number of sites in the Middle Kingdom, that humans and dogs first formed a bond based on mutual trust and utility. This is the story of the dog in China. From domestication to mythical being, palace pet to life in a high rise. Here in China, the journey of the ancient dog to modern times is an exceptional tale. And as with all good tales, it begins in mythology. One of many creation myths in China tells of the legendary Pangu, who was born within a vast egg from which he crafted heaven and earth. Pangu's body then dissolved and became the features of the universe as we know them today. The sun, the moon, the mountains, the rivers. Some say he also began the human race. Pangu was followed by the heavenly and earthly emperors, the ancestors of all Chinese rulers. Sovereign Fu Shi taught his people, amongst other things, how to hunt and fish, how to make fire and cook, and how to tame wild animals. It was the taming of wolf to dog that gave early man a competitive edge in the hunt for food, allowing for a less nomadic existence. They crafted tools and made vessels for cooking and storage. They grew crops and farmed animals for food and work. Dog skeletons from early Chinese cultures have been found lying alongside human skeletons, indicating that the bond formed between the two in life also had some meaning in death. China today covers 9.6 million square kilometers and has a human population of approximately 1.3 billion. The peoples that make up this population are Han Chinese and up to 55 national minorities. Each of these groupings is, in itself, extremely diverse. Every part of China bears both the scars and rewards of a lengthy and robust history of change. change that has spanned early feudal empires, mighty Mongol incursions, centuries of dynastic rule, wars and rebellions, the impact of Western influence, the struggle for a people's republic, and today's changing face of a modern China as it embraces the millennium. Often referred to as the mighty dragon of the East, it's the underbelly of the beast that reveals an amazing mix of peoples, languages, religions, cultures, and cuisines. Throughout this lengthy history, the dog has journeyed with the human pack, a silent witness, accepting its role in a constantly changing world. <laughs> 